look at these twisties here. Day five, I went from uh, Albury to Myrtleford uh, via the Omeo and Mount Hotham, but uh, yeah, I went down to, I think I left at like, it was late, it was probably like 10 o'clock, and yeah, I went to, holy, what's that shit? Close after snow season. Very close after snow season. Oh, it hurts my head. Jesus. Oh, I guess we won't be going up that way, eh? I went to, uh, towards Mitter Mit Mitter Mitter. And yeah, there's the place Lake Hume on the when you're leaving Wodonga and Aubrey. It's part of the Murray, or the Murray flows into it and then out of it. But last time I was down here, it was like half the size. It's crazy how much water was there, but there's quite a few little free camping sites along the, the edge of it, too. But uh, yeah, I went around that, then headed down to Mita Mita. Sort of went a little bit of a long way, but once you get to Mita Mita, Mita Mita. I just want to turn the T's to D's, but uh, yeah, once you get to Mita Mita, the, from there down right down to Omeo, the highway is friggin' brilliant. There's twisties. The, the Mita Mita part, it sort of goes in through a rainforesty bit like this but it's all bitumen but um yeah it's so much fun hardly any potholes or anything smooth but i think the best part is oh that i went all the way down to the falls creek turn off and there's a little you can get down to the river there stop there and then uh when i got going again from there down to Omeo, there's a part that uh, goes from Angler's Rest to Bingo Junction or Bingo something. But uh, yeah, that's my favourite part. It's really smooth and it's not a, it's not a, not even that fast. It's just constant switchbacks, and you're like on the edge. The river's down a little bit, and then the on the other side is the mountain starting to go up. It's really the best bit, I think. But the whole the whole highway is awesome. And even once you go past Omeo, it's still still good for ages. It follows the river a bit. But yeah, I went there, filled up at Omeo, and then went across Hotham. Which is a bit of a uh, eye opener. I, I couldn't stop saying wow when I got to the top, but was a little cool and yeah the views were pretty cool or even cooler and then on the way down I got passed by a few Harleys I was caught up to these cars and then I slowed down and this Harley comes barreling past and then later on a couple more when I get close to the bottom they went flying past me I was like wow these guys are uh, crazy but, look at these ferns around here. But anyway, uh, yeah, got down the bottom of Hotham, Hotham, and then uh, moved on to Bright. And, oh, there's a Harrietsville in between there, but yeah, I didn't really stop at any of it. And yeah, I just made my way right through till Myrtleford. I can't remember if I fueled up again or not, but yeah, ended up at the Myrtleford camping grounds or showgrounds, and yeah, so we just got set up for the weekend for the um, Open Roads Rally. Oh, this is wooden bridge, this is pretty cool, but uh, yeah, 
got set up for the open roads rally got scrutineered by uh, or got checked in by no one and yeah that was basically the day five